Hey everyone, welcome back to Loot and Learn, the series where I play action RPG games and share some tips and tricks along the way. I'm on Remarkable, your host and guide for today and every day's episode. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Wolsen, Lords of Mayhem, a gorgeous hack and slash game that lets you customize your character and skills however you want. Wolsen is available for PC on Steam, and it has recently received some updates and bug fixes, so I figured it was a perfect time to check it out. Wolsen is set in a shattered and corrupted world where ancient secrets and hidden truths await. You play as one of the three children of Heimlock who were saved from a massacre by a powerful leader of the Republic's army of purifiers. You and your childhood friends, Valeria and Edric, are part of a mission to stop a mysterious cult called the Brotherhood of Dawn from unleashing a demonic alliance on the world. The game is very story-driven and features full voice acting and plenty of beautiful cutscenes. Wolson's combat is my first topic for today. You can wield a variety of weapons and use different stances, combos to suit your playstyle. You can also dodge, dash, and unleash devastating powers that can shapeshift you into an apocalyptic avatar of destruction or many other things. The game's skill visuals and combinations are beautiful, but I did find that the game felt a bit clunky with its animation locks compared to ARPGs. This combined with a high ping on some servers made the game feel like an absolute slog but this is more of a personal preference rather than an actual fundamental issue with the game. On a higher note, the idea of willpower and rage being your two resources was very fresh and had me playing a mini game within the game to make sure I had the proper resource at all times. Wolson also features a classless progression system that lets you carve your own path to power through 21 uniquely themed classes in their rotating passive skill tree. You can experiment with different combinations and modifiers to craft a unique character that fits your preferences. The passive skill tree was a complete treat for this game. It provided interesting combinations and really allowed me to create the character that I wanted. It was by far, by far, one of the best passive skill trees I've ever had the honor of playing. The fact that you can rotate it and create these unique twists was just a complete breath of fresh air. Wolson's content diversity and replayability is unique, and it does have its high moments, but it also has some dull ones. For instance, you can discover secondary areas with deadly creatures, objectives, and loot throughout the entire game. You can also play the Wrath of Saracel challenge to earn special rewards. You can improve your gear by looting, crafting, gathering resources to unlock rare missions, face advanced challenges for extra rewards, experiment with new builds, and become a great achiever. None of this is too far out of the ordinary with an ARPG though, and that was sort of my issue with the content and replayability. Wolson does introduce some unique ideas, such as its hunts for bosses, which allowed you to take different paths for different buffs and debuffs when you actually did get to the boss. But ultimately, I didn't feel very inspired. It felt very samey. What Wolson does have going for it, though, is a very nice system that lets you customize your appearance by switching the visuals of your armors and weapons. You can loot more than a hundred different dyes and tune up your armor to have its own unique styles. The asymmetric armor system also allows you to change your appearance for left and right soldier, as well as each hand's glove. Transmoggers rejoice, because we all know what the real end game is. Wolson? Fashionista? I think so. In conclusion, Wolson is a fun experience and a riveting story. But I found it to be a bit lackluster in the endgame, and a bit too heavy on animation locks for my taste. But who am I to say what is right and what is wrong? In the end, we're all just looking for something to hold us over until Diablo 4. I want to take the time to thank everyone for the support on my last Loot and Learn episode. We had a lot of excitement over that video and it was extremely cool to see. 
Keep in mind, we record these games and check them out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 p.m. over on twitch.tv slash unremarkable underscore. Come stop by. Tell us what your favorite ARPG is. And if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more gaming content to include upcoming Diablo 4 videos and more loot and learn episodes. You have no idea how much it means to me when you guys leave a like, a comment, anything. Just getting to interact with you and seeing that this content is enjoyable is a big, ah, it just makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. But thanks guys for watching. I'll see you on the next episode. It's going to be a special one. Take care.